We have another exciting and action-packed weekend of racing ahead of us. Focusing on Eagle Farm, Alligator Blood will contest the Group 1 Stradbroke Handicap. How did he pull up after his gutsy performance in the BRC Sprint? Really looking forward to seeing Alligator Blood return to the races on Saturday, uh, representing the team in the in the Stradbroke Handicap. It would be such a... Uh, a race I'd, I'd love to win uh, with with Gay and and obviously for all the all the connections involved, it really would be a, a special win. Um, the horse has done particularly well since since his first up run for us. I uh, thought it was a run full of merit. Uh, he really uh, really attacked the line bravely after after having a, a wide run in transit. Obviously, he was off the scene for a while, so there's good in good improvement in terms of his fitness. Uh, look to have seen that in his work throughout the week and as I said he seems in great shape so looking forward to him taking his place on Saturday. Splendiferous really showed how tough she is a fortnight ago when she held on to win the Premier's Cup impressively. How do you think she will cope with the step up and trip to 3200 metres in the Group 2 Brisbane Cup? Splendiferous was very brave uh, winning the Premier's Cup there a fortnight ago. Uh, I feel she's she's taking good improvement from that. Um, obviously being tested at the two miles for, for the first time but uh, I think she certainly deserves her chance. She's had she's had plenty of racing so she's very fit at this point in her campaign. Uh, she's had the right miles in her legs uh, leading up to this run uh, and, and she really enjoys, relishes these, uh, these fast tracks. So um, she's got good tactical speed. I can see her being able to control the race. Uh, and I think if she's able to settle and, and, and find that right rhythm, uh, she's certainly proved very hard to beat because she's got a, a good turn of foot over that distance. Uh, and I feel she's had the right lead up and, and campaign to, to be able to see out the two miles. Angelic won her recent trial at Warwick Farm and looks a treat since travelling up to Queensland. What can we expect to see from her in the Dane Ripper Stakes? Uh, Vangelic is having her first run in uh, of her Queensland campaign in, in the Dane Ripper Stakes, which is the uh, traditional lead up for, for the Tats Tiara, uh, a group one there that's her main aim while she's in Queensland. She's trialled nicely, uh, particularly her latest, latest trial leading up to Queensland. Obviously, she's been very consistent throughout her career. Uh, she's, she's, she's very talented, bring the, bring the right form uh, through, to the, through to the Queensland Carnival. I feel she doesn't have to improve much off what she's shown so far, but we've just added the addition of the blinkers, which will be uh, an interesting to see if we can find that extra length or two needed at present, uh, just to be able to see her hopefully return to the winner's stall. Uh, she's had a little bit of bad luck throughout throughout the preparation, so uh, she's going to need a little bit of luck again from, from Saturday from, from that draw. Uh, but with those blinkers, on, I think she'll be able to show good tactical speed, and uh, she'll certainly give them something to catch. Moving to Sandown, Vittoriosa will take her spot in the benchmark 70 handicap over 1600 metres. Another win is not far off for this daughter of Vancouver. How do you fancy her chances on Saturday? Uh, Vittoriosa has been very consistent throughout this preparation. Uh, I thought it was an excellent uh, debut run for her in, in Melbourne. Uh, she, she, she ran excellent. Uh, she's, she continues to thrive and do well down there. Uh, the, the importance of having the good tracks for her down there has been been the key. So um, I think she can improve off that off that run again. Um, she's been around the mark and, and a win certainly not far off. So hopefully we can see that this weekend. Teofilo Star won his last start over 2,400 metres. Can he repeat that performance in the benchmark 70 handicap over the same distance? We saw a much deserved victory for Tia Filo Star there last start. Um, just taking the blinkers off allowed him to settle over that trip and is certainly very effective. Uh, so got him entered in for, for two races over the weekend on, on Saturday and, and Sunday. Uh, just weigh out where we feel his best place but certainly uh, a, a nice progressive stayer. He, he showed that last start. Uh, I think he'll continue to improve uh, now that he's had that, that win and that bit of confidence. Newcastle will host Saturday's provincial meeting and the stable is well represented across the card. Sightseer, Vinny Spirit and Gold Revolver are all entered in the two-year-old maiden handicap. Talk us through their chances. A sightseer and Vinnie Spirit uh, nominated for uh, the two-year-old Newcastle race on, on Saturday. Uh, Vinnie Spirit also dual nominated for a 1400 metre race where he's most likely to line up. I feel he's just going to be better placed uh, over that distance on Sunday having had the couple of runs. Uh, sightseer being first up over the 1200 metres uh, coming here off the back of uh, two really nice trials. Uh, he's certainly been been very genuine in those and, and certainly look professional so I think he'll be hitting the line strongly late. Uh, I think off if he brings that trial form to the races he'll certainly prove hard to beat. Reduna put in a good effort first time up at Hawkesbury where she finished second in the Phillies and Mares Class 1 handicap. 
How do you rate her chances in the benchmark 64 handicap over 1400 metres? Raduna put in an excellent performance there first up uh, when just narrowly beaten uh, at, at Hawkesbury. Uh, she was carrying the, the big weight on that occasion uh, and there's a while between runs for her. So uh, she's opened a good good improvement in terms of the fitness uh, and, and I think we'll see that on, on Saturday. She's, she's in good shape. She seems to have trained on well. Uh, she's got good form around her, uh, so she only has to repeat her first up performance and I think she'll prove hard to beat. The stable has two runners at Hawkesbury on Sunday. Looking to make it two wins in a row, Matlock will run in the Class 1 handicap over 1,500 metres in the colours of Evergreen Stud. How did this son of Kermadec pull up after his recent win? Matlock was excellent uh, when, when re resuming this preparation. Uh, he, he really put in a, a strong performance there to uh, win, win quite stylishly, pulling away from them late. He's a nice staying type in the making and he's just really strengthened up, matured physically and, and mentally this time round. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see him put two victories uh, together back to back. Obviously he'll have to improve again taking that, taking that next step from maiden class but certainly appears to be training well. Golden Queen was last seen at Randwick a fortnight ago when she ran third on a heavy track. She will look to break her maiden in the two-year-old handicap over 1,400 metres. The Golden Queen is the second of our runners in the in the two-year-old maiden handicap over the over the 1,400 metres. Uh, she's she's been very consistent in this preparation. Uh, I thought it was an excellent run where she resumed in the in the listed Woodland Stakes uh, to finish second. Uh, she she went down as favourite second up over the 1400 metres she she found the conditions quite testing there at, at Randwick just with the big jump in uh, in distance there second up uh, may have just found her out but I think uh, dropping back uh, to this maiden grade and hopefully on, on better conditions uh, she will certainly prove to be very competitive for us. Saturday's Metropolitan meeting will be held at Royal Randwick. Mr Dependable will seek his first win this preparation in the Furphy Handicap. How confident are you going into this race? Mr Dependable is racing second up for us. Uh, he steps out to the mile, which is certainly a much more suitable distance for him. Uh, he didn't have much luck there first up. Uh, no doubt he was going to improve off that off that run, but uh, he was caught wide early and, and forced to do a bit of work. Uh, and in the heavy track conditions where he's not, not best placed, it uh, certainly just made it a, a tough ask for him there first time out. So he looks to have really improved. Um, I think we can see him... Uh, improved dramatically in his second up performance as uh, so getting out to the mile and, and ideally on better better track conditions we'll, we'll see a good improvement there. Crosstalk won impressively last time out at Canterbury. Can he add another win to his name in the Shandon handicap? Uh, Crosstalk was, was most impressive uh, first up at Canterbury. Uh, he's over a distance that Phil was short of his best uh, so stepping up to the 1400 metres should, should certainly be in his favour. Uh, he's got a great uh, win record at, at the moment for, for only being a lightly race type uh, so certainly can look to see him continuing that it looks a nice natural progression for him in, in terms of the grades and uh, I do feel he was open to improvement off that first up run so uh, with that I expect him to be hard to beat once again. Nothing Sweet About Me also won last time out at Randwick for Dodmark Thoroughbreds. Does this daughter of So You Think have a good chance in the benchmark 7-8 handicap over a mile? I was, I was certainly very impressed with with nothing sweet about me first up she was uh, she was excellent the way she returned it was a, a very determined victory a uh, very tough victory and um, she, she really showed plenty plenty of class on that occasion uh, she's effective and versatile in uh, all, all the conditions and, and she should really really appreciate and, and improve at the step up to the mile so uh, I do feel she's open with a bit of improvement there in her fitness as well first up so with that I um, certainly like to see you being be competitive here for us once again.